how to add a cinematic effect to a video well that's a hard question but today after seeing this video you will not say that because in this video i'm going to be telling you how can you add a cinematic effect to your videos so for this tutorial you will need a app called Fremora go i'll add the link to download it in the descriptions below so you can download it from there so without further ado let's get started so after opening filmora go just click here in create new video and then select the video which you want to edit in my case it is in my snaps so i'll open that folder and click on the file that i want to import and click on this add button you can import multiple files also by just clicking on back again and then you can select on this on the other file and then click on add in this case i'll only use one file so i'll click in next here and then i'll scroll this area the right side of the window and then in edit i'll click in edit tools then i'll uh, click on the filters tab and then click on presets and then from here you can select the you can select the filters which you want to add you can try out these filters in my case I will use this l Laguna this Laguna filter and I'll apply this and here's a tip for you if you are working with multiple files, that is multiple videos or multiple photos, you can click here in apply all to apply the same filter to all the files. By this way, you can save a little more time. I am editing only one video so I don't need to use that and then I will click on ok and then I will slide it a little more and click in this adjust option and now from here I'll click on the temperatures button and decrease the uh, temperature a little bit because I want some blue in this area. I'll decrease it to minus 28 and then I'll click it to saturation and I'll increase it to somewhere between there is too much. Okay, I'll keep it somewhere between 48 to 50 this 40 will be fine and I'll decrease the contrast a little bit because I want some light shadows and then I'll decrease the brightness because I don't want so much brightness in my video and decrease it to minus 4% and I'll now click on the virginity tab and I'll increase the virginity to somewhere within 2 to 3 2 to 4 percent here I am using 4, 4 percent or not 2 percent to actually play with these settings to get the best look so you can also play with the speeds you can slower the image or faster the image depending on what you want so in this case I'll take it to normal speed and then first I will add the music to this because it is not looking great not sounding great sorry <laughs> so I'll click on ok and then I'll scroll it up a little bit and there in the music tab I click on this add button then from there Filmora has some pre-installed musics you can try them out or you can use your own musics by clicking on this library panel my library you can click on this and use your own music or click on here in more and you can add you can download some from the Filmora server and now for this I'll use this train track 
can you hear the voice? Let's make this the sound. Click on OK and then I click on OK again and then I'll again come to this edit tool and now uh, in audio mixer. So just before editing the video I'll give you an idea of what this is. So it is the panel where you can adjust the sound of the video how much you want it and how much you don't and this is the area where you can control the volume of the music that you add to your video and this is the panel where you can add decrease or increase the volume of the voiceover that you add to this video so so in this case I'll mute the sound of the video because by the time I was shooting this video it was raining and the video has got some sound of the rain and which I don't want in this video but I highly recommend you to keep some of the sound of the real video in your edited video so it sounds nice and don't just keep the sound of the video full Fade it a little bit, try to match it with the music that you add to your video so that it sounds nice. And now comes the main part of our video. If you haven't applied any of the filters or any you have to, uh, haven't done any adjustments, it can be fixed by this simple trick. Every cinema uh, cinematic video or the Hollywood films use the ratio 21 is to 9 usually we when we shoot video it is in full screen that is 16 is to 9 but in Hollywood movies they use 21 is to 9 and this add a very cool cinematic look in your video so you can add this effect by clicking on this ratio crop and there in the side, uh, left side of the window there is written 16 is to 9 click it once and it will become 21 is to 9 and then it looks far better so now video is ready and you can play out with the settings more if you want to set if you want to make it more cinematic for now I will leave it just like this and then I will click on the save button and I will give it the time to save the project during the saving of this project during it saves the project please don't jump to another application or the exporting or the saving process may fail so please don't do it okay then the rendering process is done now click here in camera roll to save the video to your gallery and by clicking on preview you can also see the video that you have rendered project what you have made click on back and from here you can also upload it to other social medias like instagram youtube whatsapp tumblr facebook vami and email it to someone else so if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and this is Priyanshu Malik and i'm signing off